of Jackson College, Dr. Dan Phelan. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, gentlemen. How, How are, are you? Doing well. How are you? I am great. I'm great. Merry Thank Christmas. You. Merry Christmas to you. We're talking about Christmas shopping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, uh, when I go shopping, it, uh, my wife uh, tells me it's like, um, it's like kryptonite. <laughs> I'm good for about 20 minutes, That's and after a while, too. the energy just, I don't know what it is, but yeah. the energy just kind of comes out of you, and I'm thinking, am I going to make it to the car? Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Me too. Sometimes I have to go wait in the car. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's tiring. <laughs> it's hard work. It really is. It doesn't get any easier uh, <laughs> as you get older, Christmas shopping. I, I thought Amazon would help, but you still have to go to the shops. You yeah. Know? You got you to gotta look at it. You got to... It's part of the vibe, part of the time. You know, it's, it's fun. Well, here we are near the end of the year, and you look back at uh, Jackson College in 2023, a lot of new things, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of growth, mm -hmm. uh, more students. Mm -hmm. You've got um, some beautiful new facilities. Mm -hmm. yeah. We sure do. It's, you know, it's been a really, it's been a wonderful year. You know, every year is, uh, is full of opportunities and uh, opportunities for growth and development, and also just uh, ideation and innovation. You know, we're a member of the League for Innovation, so we continue to demonstrate with the great faculty and staff that we have just innovative approaches uh, of ways in which we can better serve our community to be able to help all individuals be able to complete a degree, get a credential, market value, enter the workplace, or, or transfer to a baccalaureate granting institution. And there are just so many exciting points that go along the line from uh, the federal uh, grant that we got, for example, that really resulted nearly $400,000, which resulted in us getting a a really phenomenal facility on campus which is our astronomical observatory mm -hmm. and for me it is a big equity issue to be able to have that kind of technology available for the citizens of this area the second largest telescope in the state of Michigan mm -hmm. and especially with all what's happening uh, you know with regard to space exploration and science mm -hmm. in the STEM fields to be able to have a practical hands-on opportunity to do that right here in Jackson, Michigan, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's you know, and that's yeah, all the other yeah. things that, that happen in the course. You know, we're very focused on health. You know, the post-pandemic kind of PTSD that people are going through, mental health is so, uh, so important, so critical, we pay attention to that. And part of that, uh, being able to deal with it, is just physical health, getting outside. And so partnering with uh, Kevin Oxley over at the ISD and the um, Dahlem Center, to be able to create a trailhead on the far east side of the Dahlem Center, they're right uh, at that corner of um, Emmons Road and Browns Lake, and then to have a spur coming off of the Jets Trail around our campus to be able to go down now and then go in and experience, not just lap the co a course on campus, which is about a mile and a quarter, but now uh, you are able to go into a forested area and just experience life and flora and fauna my, uh, my sister was telling me the other day, I was talking with her, uh, it was around Thanksgiving actually, and she was telling me about forest bathing. And I said, what is forest bathing? Is that legal? <laughs> I mean, can you do that? And it's just about going in and, and apparently, you know, trees kind of give off something. Mm -hmm. And if you just go in and kind of keep yourself open and try to reduce worry and just be open to the moment, kind of mindfulness about the space that you're in and listening to the sounds and the smells. And, and uh, it, it can be transformational. So uh, I, I just find that is uh, very important. But, you know, it's also an important part of our institution. It's also a way for our faculty to get down, you know, we're teaching mm -hmm. biology or botany and have access to, to uh, real life, <laughs> you know, and, and mm -hmm. be able to do some sampling. There. It's interesting when, when, you know, you first got here to Jackson, I'm sure you, you never imagined things like the air station or a telescope. No, no. But, uh, you know, when you pull into campus now, um, and pulling in after all these years and you see those changes, um, you have to be proud of, of the accomplishments during your tenure thus far. I'm proud of our board, uh, their leadership and their vision for what the college should be. They have a phenomenal view about Jackson for the future and that view is informed by listening to the public. So they have, we call them uh, ownership linkage meetings. So visiting with the public, leaders in our community to figure out what kind of institution do we want to have in Jackson, not in terms of programs or yeah. courses, but how best to position the institution economically, operationally, to be able to support business and industry, the communities, the local schools. They've done that. I'm, I'm proud of our faculty who every day tirelessly come into the classroom, meeting students where they are, and being able to give them an academic opportunity that allows them to get a credential, go on into the workplace, or, or transfer to Michigan or some mm -hmm. other place. I'm, I'm really proud of our, our staff who uh, find these students, many of whom are first generation international students, Students have never thought college was for them or felt like somebody has been really kind of talking down to them, thinking you're not college material. And, 
And these are gifted employees who are lifting students up to say that college is possible for you. And you know, kind of break it down into bite-sized chunks. You don't have to think about a four-year degree now mm -hmm. or a two-year degree. Let's just talk about a semester. Let's talk about what interests you and how might we build that up to be able to be a contributing member of society, to be able to engage in our community, to give back to our community, uh, to be able to provide for family. It's, it's just, uh, <laughs> to, your, to your point, I'm proud of everybody at our institution from the board down to the people who provide quality food for us every day. Mm -hmm. Nobody complains about food on our campus. <laughs> That's exciting, <laughs> ever. really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, the, the staff who clean our campus and the grounds team, it just looks beautiful. And our vision all along is to make sure that it is an institution that this community can be proud of, the, all the citizens can be proud of, they can get a quality education and they can go any place and keep coming back, you know, whether they're looking for a credential or they just want to get some training or we're really doing some really cool stuff now in continuing education and inviting seniors to learn about how to access their computers so they can see their mm -hmm. grandkids or maybe in California. It is just a really phenomenal time for, uh, for Jackson College. One uh, example of how the college uh, has changed, and I think I've told you this before a few years ago, uh, your predecessor, Lee Hauser, was on campus for a ribbon cutting or groundbreaking, and he's standing there, and he looks at me and says, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't recognize. He, he was seriously uh, lost. Mm -hmm. he, had mm -hmm. spent all that time mm -hmm. working at JC, so much, so much had changed, mm -hmm. he really mm -hmm. didn't recognize mm -hmm. the area he was in. Well, I think each leader brings a unique perspective to the mm -hmm. institution, a unique vision mm -hmm. for what a place can be, and, and Lee had a, a very proud legacy at our institution, uh, advancing curriculum in particular and helping the students, and I think that uh, part of it is just longevity. Uh, in April of next year, I will have been at Jackson College for 23 years, so sometimes <laughs> it's just hanging out long enough to do some things. But to be able to work with uh, teammates at, at our institution, to be able to have a vision for what is possible, and what we're thinking about now in terms of AI, uh, chip production, uh, new programs, thinking about how we package and provide programs and courses, and in bite-sized chunks that make sense for people. And even if it's not for college credit, still giving you the competencies you need to be successful in the workplace. I, I couldn't be more proud of our team and where we're headed. Yeah, we, uh, we talk, we've been talking about the improvements on campus and, and the trail and a uh, nice overhead shot of the, uh, mm -hmm. the campus. You know, we used to live right across the street. I know you, you did. Know, I know you did. And, uh, Yes, and you can see the dome down there in the lower right-hand corner. Of course, all of the yeah. construction fencing is gone right now, but that is, that's 40,000 square feet under a <laughs> dome. We'll amazing. have you folks out. We're going to have a grand opening with our board in April on the second Monday of, uh, of April, and we will open it up. But it is, it is impressive in there. There's an airlock to be able to bring like a pickup truck in there and load in or load out material. Uh, there's revolving doors in there. We'll be able to have pickleball classes in there or basketball volleyball, um, you know, just, uh, uh, there's a walking trail around the perimeter. Uh, we'll also be able to use it for community events. Uh, we'll be able to engage partners in our, our community to uh, figure out how we can uh, be even more connecting to our, our campus and, and the community generally. We're just excited about how this college can uh, even more so uh, connect back with the community and provide the services that they need in ways that make sense. And part of it, uh, too, that you don't see on the outside of those buildings happens on the inside. And just the recognition that we have students from all kinds of backgrounds, and maybe mm -hmm. uh, not every student has all the resources that you might think. So uh, we have uh, Jamie Vandenberg, for example, who brought forward an innovative idea to launch what's called Harriet's Hub, mm -hmm. uh, which is a um, pantry of sorts. So students can go in there, uh, get some food, uh, maybe even help back home, take some food back home to be able to help them. Uh, so the parent doesn't have to worry about mm -hmm. that, but yet they have food in their tummies, so they're not <laughs> sitting in the classroom, their tummy's growling, and they can't concentrate on anatomy and physiology, for example. Yeah. Or, or be able to get clothing to be able right. to interview for a job. Mm -hmm. There's just uh, so many different partners we have. The Henry Ford Hospital has a clinic on our campus, so we're making sure our students and our employees are healthy, particularly mm -hmm. at this time of year where we've got RSV and COVID coming back and all kinds of things. So. Uh, the mental health uh, facility we have on campus, the Oasis Center, is a great place for people who are still struggling. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I continue to be amazed at the 
the, um, I guess, the, the, the leaning into uh, the PTSD of, of COVID. It's mm -hmm. really, it's really uh, palpable. You can feel it. And people know that they're just bothered, they're upset, or they're sad, and they're not necessarily sure why. And when you kind of unpack that a little bit, it's, you know, we lost two and a half years, mm -hmm. and we were confined. We were kind of jailed for a while. Uh, so be able, being able to help people kind of realize what I've gone through and have somebody there professionally to talk about, uh, even cleaning teeth. You know, I learned yeah. a long time ago that uh, oral health means overall body health. So uh, having individuals sometimes even in our community who come in as patients and we're able to assist them in getting uh, their teeth cleaned and then be able to refer them to a dentist in town. Uh, we've uh, Heather Rakowski, one of our deans, uh, held a mental or held a physical clinic on campus, and so checking, you know, if you got any plaque buildup, you know, is your heart working properly? And in some cases, we've actually saved lives. I mean, documented life saving because mm -hmm. we've identified it and we got them over to the hospital for a treatment. Yeah, I think it's before a, it became serious. What a great, mm -hmm. great thing, you know, taking a look at the overall, the whole student, mm -hmm. the success of the whole student mm -hmm. and, uh, and life, and you know, on the outside, of it, you know. Uh, people just assume everyone has it the exact same way and it couldn't be further from the truth. Absolutely. You know, if you think about it, Andy, we're all kind of icebergs. You know, you've mm -hmm. got the top 10% above the waterline that we all present, but life is really complex. I don't know about you, but I don't think there are any perfect lives out there anywhere. Everybody's got stuff they're dealing right. with. And uh, sometimes that kind of invades into a person's life and uh, they need to be able to talk about it or get the help that they need. And at Jackson College, you know, even with childcare, we've got all these services we can provide to try to at least for a moment, for a moment to be able to help them, to be able to find a pathway to a better kind of a future that we can help them envision. And uh, that's the board's vision, that's my vision, I think it's our vision collectively to be able to take people where they are and help them see perhaps a future that they haven't seen for themselves or maybe people who've, uh, who've been talking to them have not been as positive or mm -hmm. uh, affirmational about where they can go. And we're, we're in the business of lifting people up and helping make our community better, and we do that every day. By the way, uh, <coughs> the Jets Trail is a workout if you've never been on <laughs> it. It is. It is. But you want to add to that, that's one of the uh, things in uh, 2024 mm -hmm. that uh, is slated for improvements. Exactly right. Thanks for mentioning that. So uh, right out the new sports complex where the baseball and softball field uh, is, west of the, that uh, complex uh, is a parking lot, and west of that, uh, is going to be an athletic facility of sorts. So we just received word yesterday that we received a grant from the uh, National Fitness Campaign and we're going to be able to have an outdoor gym of sorts. And it's going to be fairly large. And we'll actually have speakers next to it so you can have sound. I'm and picturing gym like Venice Beach, Muscle Beach. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. There, well, kind of, but no sand. Uh, on one side, it will have kind of an open area for like aerobicize and those kinds of things. And on the other, we'll actually have fixed items. So for, you know, standing up on your heels or pull-ups mm -hmm. or, you know, those kinds of things. So it's a, it's a full circuit. So as you walk around the trail, if lapping mm -hmm. the campus for a mile and a quarter is not enough, you can go through all these different routines nice. and then continue your walk around campus. Yeah, there's a lot of elevation in the Judge Trail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you going to be able to go back out? I hope so. <laughs> I um, actually agree with the looking at trees. It's calming. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do that. Mm -hmm. Just look yeah. at trees. Well, we need and to get some proven, trees brought into the office. Then we'll <laughs> set them up for you to look at. Well, we don't really have any trees down, down here. No, we don't. <laughs> We've had a tree uh, planting campaign oh, on here's campus. Some trees. So so uh, this camp, this picture does not show it yet, but we've added another hundred or so trees around campus. So we're very focused on carbon footprint. We're mm -hmm. focused on making sure that it's a place that continues to add beauty and where people feel like they can sit outside and, and uh, study, not necessarily only in the classroom or in the library, but in fact, they can wander the campus. We've got a, uh, actually a Frisbee golf, I used to call it, but that, that would is offensive to some people. So you say disc golf now. Uh, so we've got a disc golf course there. You can see the telescope observatory in the background there. Uh, we're actually on the, uh, on the Jets Air Station, that big white building there. Uh, we actually have a facility on the inside. So there'll be bathrooms in there. There'll be a check-in desks, the materials. There you're seeing our, uh, our village uh, with, for tiny homes for uh, single parents or uh, married couples with children. Uh, we're looking to expand that in the future. Uh, we're, we're just excited about the future of Jackson uh, for uh, Jackson College and helping our, our broader mm -hmm. community and continue to look for ways that we can be good partners in the region uh, to be able to assist 
our community as it grows and learns about things like AI and mm -hmm. chat GPT and chip production. Yeah, really cool seeing uh, those aerial shots of yes. the campus. Uh, Thanks for doing that. Yeah, very cool. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Merry Christmas to you both. I yeah. wish you and your families just the best of holidays and Happy New Year. Look forward to seeing you in the new year. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks mm -hmm. for being with us. Dr. Dan Phelan, the president of Jackson College. More of the show right after this break.